Okay guys, let's do some more tone chasing. Today it's them Crooked Vultures. So again, it's Josh Hami, but his tone on this album is quite different from the Queen's albums, even though he's doing some of the same tricks. So the goal here today is to try to uh, get some similar guitar tones. I'm not trying to replicate his pedal board or his amps one-to-one. -one. I've done some research and I'm using whatever that I have here in my studio to get as close as possible. So let's start with the amps, which I think is most important in this case. I'm using two amplifiers and that's my Hampstead Artist 60. It is set to the 20 watt mode because I want it to match the uh, volume of the second amplifier, which is my Fender Tweed Deluxe 57 reissue. Hampstead, I'm running two pedals on top of that uh, amplifier because I'm only doing that into that amp. I don't want those two effects to work on both amps and that's a Boss GE7 equalizer, 7 band EQ and I'm boosting around 800 hertz. And if you have seen my Josh Hami tone secret trick video, I did that into an Ampeg, but then I was boosting more around 400 hertz. Now I'm boosting more around 800 hertz. And that is based on a photo that I saw of Josh's a live rig when he was playing with them Crooked Vultures. I'm also using a Torino Audio boost pedal. I'm uh, doing the same as I've done with the SD1. I'm cranking the tone knob to make it a uh, sort of a treble booster. He is using a full tone. I don't have that one. So I am using the Torino Audio. So I'm running those two pedals into the Hampstead to boost the mids and to, to crank the amp basically. And by the way, I also have a mid boost on the amp. So there are still a lot of mids going on here. The fender is set cleaner, but it's still breaking up when you are digging into your playing. I'm also using the barefaced Uprising 212, which is ironically laying on the side. I'm not close micing that one, but it will get picked up by a room mic that I have here behind me. The other mics on the amps, I'm using a Biodynamic M160 on the Hampstead, which is my favorite uh, mic when it comes to uh, micing up a guitar cabinet or a amplifier. On uh, the Fender, I'm using a blue microphone. I believe it's called the Blue Ball. That one is discontinued, uh, but I've seen Josh use this with both Queens and them Crooked Vultures. I'm guessing that he did not use it in the studio, but yeah, I figured it was fun to try it out and it really works well in this setup. And by the way, the Blue Bowl is a dynamic microphone uh, with phantom power, so that's pretty unique with that one. <laughs> If you like these how to sound like videos and tone chasing videos, please give a like to the video. That really helps. If we are able to get over a thousand likes, I will start to work on the next one as soon as it hits a thousand likes. Yes. This setup is very dynamic when you play softly, you have a good clean tone. When you dig in, you are getting quite a lot of dirt. Uh, in addition to having that, I have two different boost pedals that I use to have some more gain. The first one is the Unit 67, which is a booster and compressor. I'm using that when I want like a tad more compression and some more gain in my sound. And when I want even more hair, even more gain and a 
fuller boost. I'm using the Q boost from uh, Stone Def. Also, you have the frequency knob here, and you can use that as a cocked wah, which uh, Josh has a, a Q zone on his board, so you can use this instead of that if you want to. So to demonstrate the different amps, the different mics, and the room mic, and the different gain levels that we can choose here, I will play the same riff from New Fang, and you will hear one amp, the other amp, two amps with room mic, and these two. And by the way, that room mic is really important for the sound on this album. That is probably the thing that is most uh, unique from the normal Queen sound. On a lot of different songs on the Them Crooked Vultures album, you can hear a lot of room. I even put some slapback delay on the room mic for a few songs and even some reverb. And this is kind of funny, I didn't have a pad for my condenser mics here today. So I'm using a Lewitt MTP 440 dynamic mic as a room mic, but that worked just fine. Another pedal that I have on my board is the Fun Machine by Pew Pew Electronics, which is basically a full tone uh, ultimate octave. I'm using that one on Scumbag Blues and I'm running that together with the unit 67 on that song. <laughs> Another pedal that I've seen on Josh's board on this tour uh, is a Super Fuzz, which I believe he is loaning from Alan Johannes. I'm not completely sure about that. I don't have a Super Fuzz, but I have the Fjord Fuzz Embla, which sounds amazing with this rig. And I'm using that one on Kaligalov. Kaligalov? Yeah. <laughs> And the last pedal that I have here on my board is an old Crybaby uh, wah pedal that I'm using on Mind Eraser No Chaser. I think it has gone super microphonic if that's the thing with wah pedals. It's not sounding that good. Josh is using an old Morley wah, but I was able to get some similar tones uh, out of this one as well. <laughs> 
As for guitars, I'm mostly using my uh, Gibson ES335 satin finish. I'm uh, using that for the drop A songs and the other humbucker songs. <laughs> Elephants, I'm using my TMG Ronnie Scott with Firebird style pickups. You can probably use uh, regular pickups uh, on that one as well. And the guitar on Elephant is uh, tuned to an open G, but instead of having the low string tuned to D, which is normal, I tune that up to G. So the two first strings are G which I believe is an important part of the sound on that song. I also believe that's the tuning that they are using with Eagles of Death Metal. On uh, Mind Racer, No Chaser, I'm using my uh, Grey Guitars Admiral Tele style guitar. <laughs> When it comes to mixing, or it's not really mixing when it's just guitars, I'm not doing drums and bass and vocals here, but uh, I'm adjusting the levels between the amps a bit and the room mic. When I want more treble, I add in the fender. When I want less uh, treble, I take that down. Uh, same with the room mic, I'm riding that up and down a bit. With some of the songs I'm using more room mic, like Elephants and No One Loves Me. Also with Bandoliers, I believe, I'm using a lot of room with some stereo reverb on that room mic. That really helps that tone. On all the guitars I'm doing a low pass and a high pass. I'm also doing some hard dips on certain frequencies. In addition to that, I'm using the Sood plugin that helps me further to remove certain areas that I really don't want to have in my guitar tone. Other than that, some slight compression, and that is basically it when it comes to mixing. Of course, I have no idea how they did this on the album. Probably way more complex. I know they used many different amps. Like with Josh's live rig, he used a Tysco Checkmate, some Supro amps, an old Gibson, and a Silvertone. I bet he used a lot of those in the studio as well. So what I'm doing here is a very simplified version. Again, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. That really helps me and the channel. I'm looking forward to start a new tone chasing video and how to sound like video. If you have any suggestions on what bands I should check out, please leave them down below. And thank you for watching. Hope to see you in the next one as well. Goodbye.